The theory of general relativity is absurd. Introduction The conservation of angular momentum is a fundamental law of physics. However, scientists recognize that the theory of general relativity does not respect the conservation of angular momentum. We already knew that this theory is totally opposed to quantum mechanics, which is essentially probabilistic and discontinuous. The theory of general relativity is deterministic and relies on the continuity of its equations. This video shows that it is necessary to give space itself the capacity to transmit angular moments for cosmology to conform to the conservation of angular momentum. The acceleration of the speed of rotation of the Earth on itself. Until now, there has been a decrease in the speed of the Earth's rotation on itself. The explanation for this phenomenon, which led to an increase in the length of the days, was based on the phenomenon of the tides. Frictions result both from the deformation of the Earth itself and from currents generated by the tides. This explanation would be in accordance with the principle of conservation of energy. Very unfortunately, it does not ensure the conservation of angular momentum. Indeed, the deformations of the Earth and the ocean currents are symmetrical, both towards the east and the west as well as towards the north and the south. The moments cancel each other out. The worst thing is that since 2016, the speed of rotation of the Earth on itself has increased. There needs to be compensation for the corresponding increase in angular momentum. An increased circulation of the Earth's mantle magma convection loops is a possible cause. It requires the appearance of an asymmetry to change the rotation of the Earth, otherwise, the effects of the loops cancel each other out. This dissymmetry implies an angular moment of the same sign as that of the Earth since it drives it. It could relate to the abnormal drift of the Earth's magnetic pole. However, Earth's total angular momentum, including that of magma, has increased. So a decrease is needed in something somewhere for the angular momentum to be maintained. This excess necessarily has an external cause. It is impossible for it to correspond to a decrease, for the moon for example, it would take action at a distance. There is therefore necessarily a need for a medium in space, an ether, the only one capable of allowing a rebalancing of the angular momentum by contact with the matter of the rotating Earth, and therefore, without action at a distance. The Formation of Galaxies In cosmology, relativists claim to apply the law of conservation of angular momentum with inside real body systems, such as galaxies, during their formation. This is a hypothesis based on the observation of galaxies of various shapes. Their formation would result from gravitation and conservation of angular momentum, leading to flattening. Henri Poincaré showed that a condensing and rotating fluid mass is concentrated in a plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Relativists would like to apply this result to galaxies. The problem is that a collection of stars, in no way, constitutes a fluid. A fluid, is essentially a set of elements, in contact, and which can, therefore transmit their momentum, and also, if applicable, their angular momentum. If gravitation allows stars, separated from each other, to transmit, to a certain extent, their variation in momentum, how is the variation in their angular momentum transmitted? There is nothing in the theory of general relativity that allows for such an exchange. It would therefore be necessary 
to introduce an action at a distance. It has been claimed, that general relativity dictates the existence of an ether filling space. It was only a matter, of introducing electromagnetic fields, into a theory of gravity. Because the ether remains linked, in all minds, to electromagnetism. This ether was, by no means, intended to transmit angular momentum, or even linear momentum. The idea was interesting, but was not accepted. There is a good reason, special theory of relativity, and quantum mechanics, are categorically opposed to all forms of ether. The ether, and the theory of special relativity. If space were filled with a still solid ether, the Earth would move in this ether. However, the experience of Michelson and Morley, shows that this is not the case. The idea of a solid ether, came from the need, to take into account the transverse nature of light. It should be noted, in passing, that the idea is still bizarre, since solids first transmit longitudinal waves. It is not a question here of coming back, to the fact that speeds of several kilometers per second, were measured, and that the analysis of the results inside real hours, by Professor Alace, shows correlations with the respective positions of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. Lorentz's formulas solved this paradox, by assumptions about time and space, as a function of speed. However, the theory of restricted relativity, made it possible to make, the Maxwell-Hertz equation, invariant in the Galilean changes of reference frame, by these very same Lorentz formulas. Waves like light, are therefore oscillations of electromagnetic fields, propagating in space. But the discovery of the photoelectric effect, imposed a corpuscular nature of light. Ether, the medium for electromagnetic waves, became totally impossible. Conclusion Finally, there is no way in space, today, to compensate for any variation in angular momentum. The conservation of angular momentum, is an unnecessary rule for relativists. The Earth turns, the Sun turns, the galaxy turns, everything turns in the sky. Without the slightest variation? The general relativity theory, appears unable, to comply with conservation of angular momentum. The theory of general relativity, is fully wrong. An ether filling space, is absolutely necessary.